Let's create the floor plan shown on the left. To start building your floor plan, click on the Add Walls button. If we start at the bottom left corner of our plan, our first wall is 11 feet and 3 inches to the right. Add another wall, and for the next dimension, tap the up arrow or Y dimension, then enter 4 feet and 6 inches. Add another wall and change the type to Door. Set the dimension in the up direction to 36 and 1 half inches. Add 6 feet 7 and a half inches to get us to the top right corner of the floor plan. To add a wall going left, click the Add Wall button, then the left arrow. Now enter 6 feet 3 inches. For the diagonal wall, enter your dimension to the left. Then tap the down arrow and enter your dimension down. With one wall remaining, you can either add another wall and enter the dimension, or use the origin button to complete your floor plan. You can toggle between walls, doors, and windows by tapping the labels on the right. You can also click the edit icon to fix dimensions. Under the details tab, you will see several inputs and outputs. For inputs, you can name your floor plan and set heights for walls, doors, and windows. For outputs, you will see perimeter, floor area, wall area, and more. To create a PDF of your plan, tap the print button in the top right corner. Keep an eye out for more floor plan updates coming soon, including the ability to add shapes and highlight areas of your floor plan. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on our latest content.